Well, Peter Major is a mining analyst with Cader's Asset Management. He joins me now. Peter, as always, thanks for coming in. Thanks. Thank you, Devin. Straight into it. Will Lonman survive this? It's going to be touch and go. Because you say, are they going to survive? Sure. The more money you give them, that lets them survive a little longer. But when the money runs out, they either get more money or they die. A mine has to produce more money than it sucks in from shareholders. In fact, it's not supposed to suck in any shareholders after the initial amount to start a mine. Mm. But unfortunately, the majority of our mining industry is sucking more money in than it's spitting out. It hasn't churned out almost any money for dividends the last 10, 15 years, mm. even though we had the greatest commodity boom the world ever saw. It's paid almost no taxes for the last 15 years, even though we've had the greatest commodity boom the world ever saw. But it's paid the best wages, and that's all the way from the bottom people to the top people. So what shareholders have really been subsidizing is advanced wages from management all the way down. And that's pretty much socialism, but the money hasn't gone into making the money more efficient. And unfortunately, a lot of the, the policies of government towards the mining companies have really worked against them. Yep. Um, then, when you look at the price of platinum, let's look at that. At $1,700 an ounce, you had a bad performance. $900 an ounce, uh, it makes you think, doesn't it? You're exactly right. If, if they're losing money at $1,500 an ounce, if they're going broke at $1,200 an ounce, then where can they go at $900 an ounce? Yeah. Uh, so Longman shareholders now on the rights issue, I mean, does it matter which way the vote officially goes tomorrow? Uh, it probably doesn't. F for, for the future of Longman, it yeah. probably doesn't. Um, I just think government and the unions are going to have to call up management, not management, the shareholders. They're going to have to c call up the major owners. And, and government through the PIC is one of the largest owners. Yeah say, guys, we'll think about funding you if you bring something to the party. But for the last 10, 15 years, we've been funding you, and you guys have been taking away. You guys haven't been bringing anything to the party. And this is a team effort. This isn't a one-legged table. It's a four-legged table. You, 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 you kind of look at this, uh, at what you're saying, and then you look at that number, 35,000 workers at risk here. Uh, is, is it as bad as it seems in terms of job losses? <laughs> potential job losses? This is one of the times it's worse than it seems. And, and we saw what happened with, at Maricana when people were going on strike. And we saw what happened during a six-month platinum strike. It's, it's the underlying subsidiary businesses. For every guy underground, there's two subsidiary business employees on top. And I don't even know what the spinoff is. Is each miner supporting six people, seven people, eight? So it, it's catastrophic. It, I think how the previous government in the 80s rushed to help out Old Keep Copper. They needed money to sink a shaft and excess more reserves because they wanted to keep the little town of Springbok going. Mm. Well, this thing is 20 times bigger. This is more than 20 times bigger, 20 times more important. So government can do a lot here. The unions can do a lot. They did a lot to bring it to this situation. They can certainly do a lot to help rescue it. And this needs a rescue. We can't let this mine close. Yeah. What, what about approaching the other stakeholder? We were talking off air about one suggestion where Lonmont could potentially go to their lenders and say, can we sort out a strategy here to help, uh, you know, going forward instead of fiddling around with the rights issue? Can that work or not? Theoretically, anything can work. But the lenders are going to bring up the points you just brought up, Devin. They're going to say, hey, you guys came to us. We worked out a great strategy. You didn't implement it. We gave you a lot of money when yep. platinum was 17 an ounce. Then you came to us two and a half, three years later. We gave you a billion dollars, and platinum was 1450 an ounce. Now it's 900 So, And those people are accountable. We have to realize everybody who gives a mining company money is accountable for that money. You know, It's somebody else's money, whether you're giving the bank. The bank's money is the savers or the pension fund or the unit trust you're accountable you know fund managers in america go to jail if they grossly misallocate those funds maybe we need some more people here going to jail who misallocate funds so they're not going to restructure if it doesn't make sense and it's only going to make sense if all the role players nod their head yes and write down and and use concrete actions to show how they're going to help save it maybe this is like chrysler everybody took a 35% pay cut, and they saved 180,000 jobs, and the federal government came in and gave guarantees. Peter Major, it's always a pleasure. Mining analyst with Katie's. Nice coming in.